probably wondering where my One Punch Man reviews have been, maybe because you like them, or you just wanted to call me a nigger. Regardless of that, however, my reasons for not reviewing these past five or six episodes was simple. They were trash, and for the exact same reasons as the other episodes, so I felt no point in repeating myself. If you're curious about what I felt about the other episodes, I'll write an Annie DB review and put it in the description a couple of hours after this video. Or you can go watch my other reviews of One Punch Man, because it's probably going to be the exact same script. Anyways, let's talk about this episode of One Punch Man. There's not a lot to talk about, so let's keep this short. The episode was a normal One Punch Man episode, which means it wasn't very good. Or good. However, the ending left me intrigued, and that's a very good thing, because I was going to drop the show after this episode, but if there's actually going to be an arc, I might as well stick around till the end. The ending, however, didn't make the episode better, it just made the arc look more intriguing as a whole. The new Storm Girl or whatever was annoying, although I'm assuming that was intended, but I don't really care about any of the other characters that were introduced, and their introductions felt pointless, especially since everything is going to be left up to One Punch Man in the end anyways. The fact that I know Saitama is going to be the hero in the end. Makes me feel like the introduction of the characters was just filler. Weekly. These new characters share the exact same purpose every single week of getting bodied by the new villain and then Saitama comes in and punches them and it's over. The quality of this arc could go either way. This could be like the last arc where there is way too much build up about characters I knew would get killed or bodied or it could subvert the tropes that the show has established for itself and actually make a cool fight. I'm going to make a prediction about the next episode and say that Saitama will not kill this new guy in one punch because that would be a really anticlimactic end for a villain with this much buildup who as of now has done jack shit but put a ship on a city. The problem with this prediction however is that Saitama will no longer be One Punch Man and if the slapping, kicking, and elbowing didn't ruin the name of the show then this prediction surely will. Production values were still the same and the jokes still weren't funny so yeah. TLDR, it's still One Punch Man like I'm not impressed at all but at least the ending has me intrigued to not drop the show yet. By the way, episode 9 still did suck, you all just didn't realize it. Cack.